companies trying to put their company in a positive light. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. For you new drivers out here, it is so tough for you guys to figure out what to do, where to go, what questions to ask. Is this company a good company or is that company a bad company? Y'all come on here to look for everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you up, but yup, of course you lie. Sit there and organize. Try to be more than just hoes. Um, thinking you sort of tight. Cause someone wrote you lines. Thinking you whores have got flow. <laughs> no, you can record the lies. Give me this all boils down to you and you only. You know, it all boils down to you doing your research. Now, that's what it all comes about is research, man. You got to research what you want. It's not going to just come to you. I mean, if you if if you coming out of out of school and you finding it hard to find a position, unfortunately, some of the better companies are looking for more experience. Now, some of them are reducing their criteria though. Back in the day, it used to be like you gotta have like a year. Now it's like two, three, two or three at the most. Especially if you wanna try to get the kind of money that you wanna get in this game. Now the average, 50, 50 grand, 60 tops, that's about eight, nine, about eight, nine to a grand a, month, uh, a grand every week, you know. I mean, that's a, that's a tipping point, right? But you're going to want to know about these companies. And the way to go about doing it is, like they say, talk to their drivers. But I really want to tell you this. When you go talk to some of the drivers at a particular company that you want to go to, now some drivers may want to give up that information. You know, you talk to them and they want to tell you about the company, how good the company treat them, this, that, and the third. But only know this. This, that it's only coming from their point of view, from their experience, from their instincts with the company. And it may not be the company as a whole. Now, you may get an interest of a company that you want to go to. You go talk to the one driver, and the one driver might say it's the best company to work for. Okay. All right. That's your opinion. You might go to another driver that works for the same company and might tell you that it's the worst company to work for. See, a lot of that you got to take with a grain of salt, for real. You can't just up and, and take one driver's word for it you gotta you gotta do a multitude of things you gotta talk to the you gotta talk to the drivers you gotta talk to the recruiters you gotta probably go online and see some of the report but for a company to just put their drivers on front street and just get maybe a handful of drivers that actually like the company that's what they're gonna do they're not gonna get they're not gonna put a driver in the forefront that has a problem with the company. They're not gonna do that, bro. They're not gonna do that. They're gonna get a handful of drivers that says, oh, well, this company is the best company. You should come work for this company. This, they treat me well, yada, 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 yada. But they're not gonna get the, the other driver that has maybe an issue with the company like, for example, you get forced to do you get forced to do stuff that you don't want to do. Like, let's say for example, you don't like going up in the Northeast. Okay, you get you get a load that'll take you up there, but then you get tricked into saying you you get tricked into taking the load up there. Oh, okay, well, if you take this load up there, we'll try to find you a, a longer load, a better load. And it never happens. You get stuck up there for like three, four weeks at a time. And you be wondering like, yo, am I a regional driver or am I an over the road driver? Why the hell I am 
stuck up here in the Northeast. What the hell, man? You know, some cases like that. Some drivers might have an issue with pay. And what I mean by pay is, it's connected to the miles. So if you're not getting the miles, you're not getting paid. So that good possibility of getting 50 grand a year might not be the case if you're not getting the miles to match it. Now, they might entice you to come in with, let's say, 50 cent a mile. That's good, right? That's good. 50 cent a mile? Hell yeah! But if you're not getting the miles to match it, what's the point? It's almost like you're making 40 cent a mile if they're not giving you the miles to match it. What if, what if they give you 40 cent a mile and give you a whole hell of a lot of miles and then tell you some stuff like, oh, well, we can't get you home. What do you mean you can't get me home? I, I wanna go home. Oh, we, we can't get you home. You see what I'm saying? What about this though? Now put this in consideration. What if there's no freight? I, I got a lot of that from the previous previous companies that I've been with. You get a you you get a load, you'll drop it on Friday and then boom. If you're an over-the-road driver with maybe like 30, well maybe like 30 hours left to drive, and you literally sitting over the weekend because there's no freight. You gotta put that in consideration. Oh, freight is slow. Slow? How the hell is freight is slow, man? So, take everything that us drivers tell you with a grain of salt. Now, when I was with my previous company, yeah, I came to you guys and I told you guys that, hey, it was the best company. But that was my opinion, and I've been stated that in my videos. My experience with the company is my experience with the company. It may not be yours. You may get in there and you'll be like, oh, well, damn, locked out. You told me that this is the best company to work for, and it turned out to be shit. Well, if you heard what I said, I said it was the best company for me, not for you. Come in, give it about 30 days, maybe give it about 30 days, and if you don't like it, bounce. But don't bounce too many jobs though, because a lot of a lot of companies out here, they're not they're not going by they're they're they're, they're frowning upon job jumping now. Think about that. But the, when you talk to these drivers about the comp perspective company that you're interested in and the companies that they work for. You got to take it with a grain of salt. Do your research. There's a lot of research online about particular companies that you may be interested in. Do your research on that. Talk to the recruiters. And if you can, and if the drivers want to talk, talk to the drivers. And then make up your mind on that. But it all boils down to what you want how you feel and what preferences that you want the company to be me in the beginning when i started it was all about experience i wanted to get out there i wanted to get my experience i want to i wanted to get my experience and i got it that was in the beginning when i went to the next company it was all about me and what i want you see what I'm saying? So when I got when I when I had the fleet manager that was working with me, it was great. It was awesome. Was it the best company for me at the time? Yes. Because the fleet manager, I had a vibe. I had I I, I had something with the fleet manager. I said it once, I say it again. All that changed when the fleet manager left, all right? That was, that was, the vibe was broken. But it was all about me. The company I'm with now is still all about me. If I want to go somewhere, they'll put me somewhere. If I don't want to go nowhere, they won't send me home. If I want to go home, they'll send me home. They'll get me home. 
If I want to run, if I want to run batshit crazy, they'll run me batshit crazy. It's all about me and what I want. And that's what it should be about you. It should be about what you and you want in this industry. Once you get your license and you come out here, first thing first is getting the experience. Once you get it, then you can negotiate any terms you want with any company.